Welcome back to a biology A-level video. In this video, we will be talking about cells. First thing you need to know about is that there are two types of cells, eukaryotes and prokaryotes. In this video, we will be focusing on eukaryotic cells, which includes animal and plant cells. Within eukaryotic cells, there are many organelles that you need to be aware of. To help you with answering exam questions, it is best to be able to identify each organelle on a picture as well as on microscopic images. You should also learn what the structure and function is of each organelle. Now, if we start off with the nucleus, it is surrounded by a double membrane called the nuclear envelope with small gaps which are called nuclear pores. The function of the nucleus is that it contains the cell's genetic material which are associated with histone proteins. We will be talking about the nucleus more in the DNA replication and protein synthesis topic. Within the nucleus there is the nucleolus which is the site of ribosome production. Now moving outwards we have the rough endoplasmic reticulum. These are membrane bound sacs with ribosomes on its surface. The difference between the rough endoplasmic reticulum and the smooth endoplasmic reticulum is that although they are membrane bound sacs, smooth endoplasmic reticulum does not have ribosomes on its surface, hence it is called smooth. But they are also different in their function, which is related to whether ribosomes are present or not. As ribosomes are the site of protein synthesis and are actually made of two subunits. So the smooth endoplasmic reticulum synthesizes lipids, whereas the rough endoplasmic reticulum folds and transports the proteins made in the ribosomes. The Golgi apparatus are the organelles which are a stack of membrane-bound flattened sacs which are arranged in the form of a lecture theatre and have vesicles surrounding them. Their function is to modify and package the proteins and lipids into vesicles which they receive from the smooth and rough endoplasmic reticulum. The lysosomes are membrane-bound spherical sacs containing digestive enzymes which are used to break down material. The mitochondrion is an oval shaped double membrane bound organelle. The inner membrane is folded to form projections called cristae and surrounded by a matrix. This is the site of aerobic respiration. The centrioles are hollow cylinders which contain a ring of microtubules that are involved in producing spindle fibers that are needed for cell division. The cytoplasm is the thick solution that fills each cell which contains all these organelles and is the site of the cell's metabolic reactions. Finally, we have the plasma membrane which is made up of a phospholipid bilayer which regulates what enters and leaves the cell. It is important to note that in your GCSEs you would have been taught to use the term cell membrane. However, in A-level, you must use the term plasma membrane or cell surface membrane in order to gain the marks in your exam. Now, these extra structures are only found in plant cells. These are important to know for the comparison questions. First, we have the chloroplasts, which are green round structures that are the site of photosynthesis. Then you have the vacuole, which contains the cell sap and is surrounded by a membrane called tonoplast. The vacuole is what helps maintain the pressure inside the plant cell. The cell wall is a structure made up of cellulose and it provides the structural support for the cell. As a side note, the cell wall of fungi is made of chitin. Again, this is good to know in comparison questions. Finally, the plasma desmata are small gaps between the cell walls of plant cells to allow for communication between them. I hope you found this video useful and please give this video a like. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe.